Hey guys, in this video I want to talk about a new approach to building these micros and it's going to be based off of these new uh, electronic stacks that are coming out uh, that include a uh, ESC, 4 one ESC, a flight controller, and some sort of a camera. Um, in this case I'm going to talk about two different products. This, this one here uh, on the table here is uh, the one from EUSHEEN. It's the one with the 10 amp 4 one ESC and Omnibus F3 flight controller, the micro 20x20 20 20 size. And it's actually the one that I featured in one in this video for this uh, Aurora, I think it was the Aurora 90 rebuild. Um, however, I'm only using two of the pieces of that cube. Um, the top piece here is the receiver and buzzer, and I'm not going to be using that. Uh, these are actually sold as three different parts. They don't actually come all, all together like this uh, out of the box. Um, only if you buy the Aurora 90 or Aurora 100, it comes like this. You have to still assemble it, and um, I'm just going to be using the uh, 4 in 1 10 amp EAC and the flight controller. I'm not going to be using the receiver and buzzer because the receive this particular receiver is PPM only and has issues with fail safe, so which is um, not, I'm not recommending to use, you guys use that. I'm just going to recommend using these two parts. I'm going to show you how these actually come um, when you buy them separately. So here is what they look like. And I've partially assembled this already. Um, I'm gonna put a, I'll put a photo up here on what all the different parts look like. You get you get come two different bags. You get one bag with the four and one AC and one bag with the flight controller. And um, it does not come with this JST um, little uh, connector here in the back. I you have to buy that separately. It does not come in that in the box. But it does come with uh, the LC filter, which is right here. And this is how basically it, it's put together. I'll uh, I'll actually assemble it with all of the the uh, little nylon standoffs here in a second, and show you that. But just want to show you what it looks like um, completely apart. The key to the simplicity of these builds and why I'm recommending using these is the fact that um, it it basically is pretty easy to put together. You got this uh, little cable here for your ESC signal wires that go right into the flight controller. Uh, you have to just put on a little uh, pigtail here for your uh, receiver that goes to this little pigtail here and then your camera will just plug into the side here with this little uh, four pin connector it's for video out and video in because this has a built in OSD and this is what the um, this is what the camera looks like it comes with a circular polarized antenna normally uh, but I in this case I've uh, removed the circular polarized antenna and put on a replacement antenna here um, I'll put links to all these parts in the description, obviously, so you can check it out if you want to look at what these look like. And a couple different receiver choices for me are going to be these FlySky micro receivers. And I got the uh, FSA8S and I got the uh, FS82 receiver here. You can use either one. Um, I use iBus on these. Uh, if you want to use Spectrum or uh, FreeSky receivers, the, the connections are going to be a little bit different. Uh, you're still going to use the same UART here. I think this is UART 3 on this particular flight controller for the um, connection for your uh, receiver. And your, 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 your connector here might be different based on what receiver you use, so just keep that in mind. But basically this is the only thing you really need to solder um, is that piece right there, your part for the um, power uh, for the battery, and then you have to solder the LC filter. It comes uh, basically. It's uh, this whole this part here is already soldered. You just have to solder it on the part where the power comes in over here, and then this is where the power goes into the board. So let me go ahead and I'll put this together with the standoffs. I'll show you what it looks like um, with it assembled and ready to go. Okay, so this is what it looks like assembled, and you can see it's a nice little stack here. Just have the ESC wires going from the ESCs wrapped around and plugged into the flight controller there. And I've got my little receiver here plugged into the pigtail. Um, pretty much all you gotta do is take this little cube or this little setup here and just stick it onto your frame. And then obviously you got solder on your motors here on the side and then plug in your FPV camera and you're good to go. Um, the couple things to note about this particular ESC board is that you need to be aware that uh, these little FETs here are really close to the solder tabs so you don't want to use a lot of solder and bridge any of those FETs 
you'll uh, blow up the ESC if you do that. Other than that, it's pretty easy to do soldering on this. It's not that complicated. Now, if you would rather have something already built, there's actually a lot more of these things coming out that are already built and uh, don't have to don't have to mess with it too much. Um, there's, uh, this, is, this is another example of uh, one that's already built. This is from Gearbest. And this is a little different. It has a 20 amp 4 in 1 ESC with a um, F3, I think it's an Omnibus flight controller with an OSD as well. Uh, this one has the uh, LC filter built into the board so there's no extra soldering to do. And it actually comes in the box just exactly like this. There's no soldering, nothing to connect. It just comes exactly like this. You, you don't get any extra screws and stuff here. Um, but I believe that these are the same uh, screw holes. They're either M2 sized and uh, same on on the e machine one here, I think these standoffs are uh, M2 size screws and holes. I believe the, the actual holes in the in the boards are M2.5, but the ones on uh, the standoffs that come with are M M2, so you could use some M2 uh, steel screws or nylon screws if you have any extra of those lying around. You're, you're going to need some of those. But um, again, this other one here is pre-built. You know, doing the building, this comes from Gearbest, exactly this, and it's a 20 amp 4-1 ESC instead of a 10 amp. So this one uh, might be uh, something that you might want to consider taking a look at if you want something that doesn't require any um, assembly whatsoever. But you still need to uh, uh, solder on your little receiver pigtail. I forget where that is here on this board. I think it's over here. And then over here on the right, and these four pins are they for the video in and out for your FP all-in-one camera. But this one obviously looks really similar to the other one, but it's 20 amps instead of 10 amps. So this is kind of what I'm going to be doing for a lot of my micro builds going forward. Um, this makes, if you have this already ready to go, this makes the builds a lot easier. Obviously, you just stick this on a frame, solder on your motor wires, and then plug in your FV system, and then you're ready to fly. So uh, yeah, you could have some really simple and good builds with this technique. So I'm going to be going this route going forward instead of using uh, separate ESCs on the arms. I'll put links to all these things in the description. Uh, let me know if you guys have any questions about these products and I'll talk to you guys in the next video.